Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and we've got a new little something-something here to check out. Marvel Legends series, Avengers Infinity War, the Marvel Studios brand. I mean, like, this was the movie. This is the Iron Man Mark 50 armor and the Iron Spider. If you weren't able to get this guy in uh, one of the previous sets, no worries. We're good. And over here, exclusive. You can't get this anywhere else. Maybe one day you will. But for now, it's only here. We're going to cut to Chase, and we're going to check out what's inside here. We'll be back in a moment. All right, everybody. So the toy department is open, man. Check this out. This is the Mark 50 with all of this stuff. That's right. You're going to see these um, gloves over here, these, these balled-up fists. You're going to think they're for Spider-Man at first because they're on his side. Nope, they're actually for Iron Man, and that's really important. So the only thing that you're going to see with um, Iron Spider over here is you're going to see the, the figure itself. You're going to see this very awesome Peter Parker head, which is kind of crucial to the game because now you can just take one of those old Iron um, Tony Stark bodies, pop off the head, put this one on instead. You've got a Peter Parker walking around. That's right. Or you can, you know, of course, just pop it on top here, whatever you want. Put that over here. And then of course, you got these guys. And I just want to show you how easy it is to pop these things on. It's just there's these things in the... <laughs> probably should show you. But there's these things in the back. Um, they all look to be the exact same, so I don't think that you can really make a mistake on which one you put in. Just gotta draw right around, so that's a nice, tight fit. They do pop out. In fact, I've had them pop out just a little while ago, but there doesn't seem to be any really wrong way to put these things because they move. So you just got the pivots here. You got the pivots here, up and down. Um... It, of course, opens, so it'll go up and down. That's, I'm just saying, that's better articulation than most of the figures themselves. And holding it here, it'll do the exact same thing up here. Up, down, it'll, it doesn't really turn up here, does it? Does it? No, it does. It does. It absolutely does. So that is a very wide range of motion, and these things are such loose plastic that they won't hold up your figure, but you can easily, you know, take a hair dryer to them or whatever and make them do whatever position you want them to do. So this is an absolutely fantastic figure. It only comes with these web spinning hands. That's okay. You can see just by the back that they're the same exact hands that come with most of the Spider-Men. So you can interchange any of those hands you want, the wall crawler ones or the fist ones or whatever you find, an open one, a closed one, a blah, 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 whatever one. So yeah. Iron Sprite, this is a really great figure. Really good figure. Solid, no complaints. Um, yeah, these, these things are just great. And of course, for me, the absolute, absolute best part is that it comes with a Peter Parker head. And that's a good one with a little comb over fade kind of thing. And yes, that's actually attached. It doesn't come loose or anything. You could take a scalpel and you can make it loose if you wanted to. It's up to you. <laughs> Mods are always a good thing. So now we've got the Mark 50. Um, looking it up really quick, they do have one of these that came with one of the one of the sets. I think the the set that was supposed to come with um, hmm, which one was it? Either either way, whatever. It was one of the sets that um, like Namor came with it and a whole bunch of characters. I'm trying to remember what the build a figure was that came with it, but this one didn't come with any of the build a figure pieces. That's why it doesn't strike my memory so well. And I remember I actually just wound up skipping that one anyway, because they've always got a new Iron Man coming out. And to be entirely honest, when this set came out, I was so glad that I skipped that one, because bang, <laughs> for literally for twice the price of that one figure, I got these two. So this was a great deal. I'm doing my Italian, my New York Italian thing. This was a great deal. I don't forget about it. So check this out. This is absolutely gorgeous. You've got this great figure it's got all this is how it actually comes um your it's not got your it doesn't have your standard iron man articulation at least it doesn't seem that way right away because these things are on it these um you know there's that highly nanotech armor and whatnot these things can just they come right out they actually do come right out you know what I'm saying but they're they're gorgeous they're painted really really well look at the detail on all of that i mean that's just fantastic i'm loving this so these things are great. Um, you can see by these hands, they do not lean forward 
uh, there's no ball joint on there. So they're stuck like this. That's it. That, what you see is what you get. That's it. And they've got, you can see right there, just to get this out of the way. They've got um, the little blaster parts that come with it. So you can just slide that right in and make it look like as if he's blasting someone. Or you can go ahead and stick them on his feet. Make it look like he's rocket flying off. You know, whatever. Whatever you want. Boot jets and just shooting somebody with the boot jets. Whatever, you can make it look like he's getting shot in the back. You can, ah, whatever. You can do whatever you want with those. <laughs> so that's that. But the hands, while well, they will come around, and yes, the hands actually do come out. They do come out. Um, you see right here, there's no, uh, there's no real actual uh, joint there. It's just this little guy. So they do not, they do not, unfortunately, uh, well, I can't get that good focus there. Anyway, they don't come down or anything. So that's all you got. You just got these guys and bang. But they do have your standard Iron Man articulation. There we go. It's having a hard time with that last part of the elbow joint. But he could do all this. And of course, you know, you can, um, you can switch out different hands. If you want to do a fist here, switch it out. Like I said, these are actually supposed to be Iron Man's fists. You can tell by the... The back that little golden part I can show you here it's just like on these ones it's got the little golden part back there bang so yeah this is actually for him so he can still punch Thanos right in the face or you know jack slap uh, uh, Star Lord for hitting Thanos when he shouldn't have uh, as far as articulation here this is you know for an Iron Man figure this is this is not bad and of course you know you could flip it around to make him do whatever you want but um you know, whatever. I mean, like the Iron Man armor is not going to give that much of a range of motion. Um, you got a good swivel. You got the ball and everything. This one comes down really far. I'm I'm really happy with this Iron Man. I mean, this is... Do I want to say this is the best Iron Man out there? I don't know. But I do know this is the best Iron Man that I own. And I've got a few. I've got, a, I've got quite a few of them. So, you know, he's got your... Keep on moving him off camera. Sorry. This is a little bit hard. Um... It's got a lot of, oh, there we go. Uh, you just look at the detail on this guy. I mean, fantastic. For me, fantastic. If I, I, I would like to complain a little bit about the idea that there's a sticker there and it's not the greatest of stickers, but I don't know what else they could do instead of this. Um, I definitely didn't like the idea of the light that was there for the uh, the three pack with the, the MCU Doctor Strange and the Thanos. Didn't like that at all, but then I look at, you know, the detail all along here. I mean, that's just some gorgeous detail. And look at this. Look at this bend. Okay, it did it before. Anyway, so the bend forward. Okay, never mind. That kind of stinks. But the bend back, that's not too shabby for an Iron Man. I mean, you can actually make him look like he's flying here. Look at that. He looks just like him. Now, actually, no, you wouldn't want to bend his feet because he's got to actually have the, the repulsor. Uh, tech in the back, but anyway, he's got a good swivel bend right there. Um, I've seen the Iron Man's before where they've got the the waist just looks way too big for the rest of it. It just feels like it's one part. Some of them are just one piece straight through, and I'm not a fan of that at all. So I'm cool with them having the waist swivel up top like they usually do for the female figures. This is cool, no complaints there. Um, good range down here. This one is very tight. But that's the uh, the range of motion with his knee. I'm kind of digging that kneecap piece that just juts out. Like, it's just so obtrusive. I dig it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I definitely dig that. But yeah, you got all that good stuff there. And you've got, listen. Uh, oh, geez, for the sake of conversation. You've also got the shield that comes with it. So that nanotech shield that you can just put up and just, you know, boop, try and defend himself and Thanos comes a calling rah so you know ah you can't get me Thanos how dare you so this is cool and just snaps right on not exactly the best fit there is it you gotta kind of move it all the way up there we go move it up like right on to uh, like right by where the the joint is of the elbow there we go so that's not bad I'm gonna pull that guy right back off and put that there but then you've got these four pieces now some of us might be wondering, what are these poor pieces for? Are they just supposed to fly? I mean, like, we've seen them. We've seen them in the movie. You know, the 
the first and second Infinity movie, you know, whatever, he's in booze, they're just back there hanging on up there, right? The bat, there's two parts, two uh, plastic pieces here. And in the back of this one, all the way to the right-hand side, behind Spider-Man, actually. No, excuse me, it is behind uh, Iron Man. Sorry, I had it upside down. But anyway, there's this thing. This clear piece of whatever. And I'm telling you, I missed it. I missed it. And I was sitting here looking forever. I'm like, this, this this has to be wrong. And I go back and I look at the piece. I couldn't see it. I'm like, what the hell? That's how, that's how clear this thing is. I honestly could not for the life of me see it. So you got these pieces. You can see that they go... Right onto the back. Right onto here. I'm gonna slide these puppies right on, on both sides. And I'm gonna take these pieces, the bigger ones, that little hole there, the, the two holes. I'm gonna put them right in the middle. Line those up. And then there's this one big um, dot here. You got it right back here also. And I'm gonna put this right on him. And I could put it up that high. I could turn it around and make it lower if I wanted to. I kind of like it that high, though. Either way, however you're going to put it on him. Boom. Oops, and if I fix his feet, you'll see that it'll actually stay on him. And will he stand up? Ladies and gentlemen, can we get an actual stand? Come on. You're on camera now. There we go. So he will actually stand with it. Um, I'm not going to complain about that. It is a little bit weird. If you wanted to, you know, of course, if you wanted to modify that, you could. Um, you don't even have to snip it necessarily. Just uh, put on some some good gloves and, and you know, some leather gloves and, and heat that thing up a little bit. Not, seriously, not too much. And you can bend it and still not get any uh, creases on it. I'm positive with this particular material. That's cool. You're definitely going to want to wear a mask, though. <laughs> but that, wow, that is gorgeous. Yet, I, honestly, for me, that's just a very ingenious little way of getting these little things on there that just give them the backup power, the, the, the extra nano bites for, <laughs> you know, the, the nano material to do whatever he's going to do. Like I said, guys, this is a really really cool find for me um there was a lot of these in the store i know there's a lot of people passing these up hey man if you got all the iron man in the world that you want and let's be realistic marvel legends has been pumping out a lot of captain americas they've slowed down a little bit but they started pumping out a lot of captain americas and a whole lot of iron mans and after that that first ragnarok wave we got way too many thors right so <laughs> this this right here for me this is a hot iron man this is definitely my favorite Iron Man that I own. And I don't own too many. I think I've got like, this would make my fifth one. But yeah, this one is definitely my favorite one. I'm digging on this. I'm going to be using this guy a lot for his, for his fights. And then of course, set this guy up and make it look like he's coming out. I mean, like great articulation. I wish they would have done that with the Superior Spider-Man. Uh, if you want, you can always just, I don't know, get in. Uh, if you've already got another one of these from before, you just use this and um, spray paint them red. The, uh, the 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 spider arms in the back and put them on your superior spider-man no complaints there but these are awesome i love the way they look i love the way they move they're fantastic so to me honestly this is a really really good set it may not seem like a lot at first but all the things you could do with it this extra really nice peter parker head uh put that with a uh a tony stark body that you'd maybe get with that one that came with the mark one that that particular two pack boom you're good anyway guys i'm done professor bill comic book university Class dismissed.